When I first started writing the script for this video, I was a little salty, not gonna lie. I was becoming the 20th YouTuber just this week to talk about how bad Overwatch is in 2024, you know, your usual rant. But it wasn't sitting right with me. I was feeling like I wasn't really expressing myself very well and it didn't have anything to do with the fact that I'm really bad at expressing myself. But I feel like everything I was saying was disregarding what my old me thought of Overwatch. You know what? I cherish the good memories I had with this game. And a lot of people seem to do it too. If they didn't, venting and making slop videos about the downfall of the game wouldn't be such a popular thing. People wouldn't be as easily hooked to this topic if this franchise wasn't important to them, feel me? So that's it. This game is important to me. Or at least, it was. It used to be. I can't put into words how much better this game made two or three whole years of my life feel. Playing this with my friends for nearly every day for an extended period of time is some I ain't regretting so soon. I really, really loved it. I loved it more than High Heart and Toby Bjorn love themselves. I loved it more than my love for Wrecking Ball. I loved it like I loved killing fires with Zarya lasers. But you know what? Everything must come to an end. And it's no surprise to no living soul under the sun that Overwatch is dying. Slowly. And with no grace. There is no more real love put into it anymore. I'm not talking about the artists who work in this game. No, these are not the problem. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of very passionate people in the team. I'm talking about the seniors, your typical man in suit, your typical 500% profit or nothing, gray hair, white man, you know? These are the ones who turn Overwatch into a bad game. And yes, it's a bad game now. Please don't, don't, don't argue with me, okay? It's a bad game now. But differently from most people in your inner circle who care about you and who legit feel sorry for you losing for the 50th time in a row, I won't tell you to stop playing it. If you're having fun, you should keep playing it. If you don't rage every single match because the matchmaking is unbearable, you should keep playing it. If you can really enjoy and genuinely smile while you played it, you should keep playing it. It's a good game for you as long as it is enjoyable and it's not doing harm. However, my experience with my peers over the last years deteriorated very quickly and the game got from an enjoyable, fun, cool, neat, beautiful, shiny experience to oh my god I hate my teammates being uttered in my ears every two seconds. And this wasn't really making Lil Me happy. This was making Lil Me very sad. So I stopped playing it entirely. I uninstalled the game and unsubscribed to any channel that focused on covering the game. Sometimes it hurts less to accept that something's gone, dead. Sometimes you have to understand it's funeral time. No worries, something new will come up, you will find something cool to play with your homies. There is a ton of shit out there for you to play and see how you like it. I'm telling this as someone who had Overwatch as their favorite game for years and years on end, and who played it every single day for an extended period of time. And I'm a person who don't play games that often, I usually play games like once or twice every week, so yeah, I was pretty addicted to the game and it really changed my days for the better. But once it started changing my days in a bad way, once the game became soulless, it became clear to me that I'd have a better time playing literally anything else. But you see, I won't forget this game. Never. It's part of my life. It was, and kinda still is, important to me. As I've said before, I cherish the good memories I have with this game. That's why I'm still drawing them girls and boys and robotos up to this day. Because I really cared about these characters in the past and I would love to know how it feels to live in a reality in which Overwatch never stepped from its prime state, never became a piece of shit. But since I live in a pretty bittersweet reality and don't have real fun playing this game anymore, I can at least make things a little less bitter with a cute gay drawing. If you like my art, consider following me on my social media, links are on the description, talk to me there, I don't bite. Or maybe I do, I guess we'll have to find out. And remember, have some fun. Life's already too complicated, you don't have to overcomplicate it with games that don't bring you joy anymore. Unless Overwatch still makes you happy. If that's the case, then pick that sweet bash and do that. <laughs>